Yeah, microphone check. You already know our conversation series. Mr. J here while I'm in the building. Uh, yes, sir. Hey, we drinking Mahi's Brandy DMV based on um, black owned. Make sure you check it out. It's smooth. Definitely. G5 slides here. What's good, dog? Big catcher flight, man. You feel me? Uh huh. West side of motherfucking uh, Anne Arundel County. We out this motherfucking catcher know. flight. Don't fly around me unless you try and get your wings clipped. You heard me? Facts. Hey, how you like the uh, the drink? Oh, it's definitely tasting good. Yo, let's why why not? Let's just jump into it because you came in here. Yes, you sir. On my ass, she was like, "Yo, you listen to the." Gangster, yeah. right? Yes, sir. Like, yo, you listen to Gangster? I'm like, yeah. yeah. And it's on every platform. I right. just want you to let, uh, yeah, I got to let you know that. You feel out. me? It's on every platform. That's why I jumped straight into it, because you use it on my ass. Like, yo, yeah. you watch. Nick, I thought I thought he had a strap. Like, yo, you watch the <laughs> motherfucking video. Bro, I watched it, bro. I yeah. promise you, bro. Yeah, bro. My like, man, yeah, he, he made sure that we did that video correctly. You feel right. me? He ain't, everything we do got to have a story to it. Mm -hmm. So one day he like, yo. You seen New Jack City, right? Mm -hmm. Like, bitch, who ain't seen New Jack City? Mm -hmm. He like, yo, let's do let's do the scene to it. I'm like, all right, fuck it. I think that's gonna work. Wind up, video being fired. Mm. So everybody loves it. I like it. Right? I like it. Everybody and definitely. And the song it. is good too, though. Thank you. Like a lot of people, they have these ideas, and, and honestly, shout out to your, your your guy because a lot of times videos do help the song out. Right. We can't ignore that. Like mm -hmm. a lot of times the video good, it helps the song, it helps it be more appealing to the eye of me watching it. When you get the visual, yeah. But when you have a good song on top of that, mm -hmm. I mean, you yeah. got best of both worlds, right? Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. Was, yo, how long you been doing this, man? When, when, when did you even start rapping? What made you get into it? Man, Keep It G, I started, I started actually singing mm. when I was, uh, I want to say eight years old. I can see that. And I started out in church because of my grandmother. Mm. And uh, yeah, shout, shout out to my grandmother, Eliza Thompson, rest in peace, you feel me? But she made sure that we always had something to do with music, mm. regardless of anything. My whole family was on music. Then voice dropped, couldn't hit the same notes. I was like, man, I could freestyle singing. Mm. I know I could freestyle rap. Started freestyling rapping, got into it. Was like, man, I need to study my history because my uncle was on my ass. My uncle Bird, shout out to him too. You feel me? He, you probably heard him on a uh, radio long time ago. Whoa, now, hey now. Mm -hmm. That's my uncle. Whoa, now, hey yeah, now. Yeah. Whoa, yeah, now. yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> that's my Everyone uncle. Now. You feel me? So he made sure he was like, yeah, jump out there, man. Do your thing. You feel me? Drag your nuts on these niggas. So I was like, I said, uh, I got some fire. I'm about to drop. He was like, do you? Right. So wait, bro. Let's talk about. So all right. Cause there's so much to, to unpack right now. So you started in the church, but even before that, right? I mm -hmm. like how you came on and you was like, man, West Side of Anne Arundel County. Yes, County, sir. Right? Like you, you, you yes, sir. You, you took pride in that. See, I was I was born in Baltimore, mm -hmm. over Alameda, East Thirty Six, mm -hmm. but I moved out to Anne Arundel County. I want to say like ninth grade. And that's why you caught your wings. That's exactly why I caught my wings. Okay. I, I moved out there and I met some of the best people in my life. People that's been here since I since I met them. Right. Anybody that I was with in Baltimore, I can't even tell you what they doing to to this day. Can we go back for a second? So yeah. at, at one point of time, right, people was repping Baltimore, not even being from Baltimore. They might have been being from the county. Yes, and sir. just from my perspective, of course, I might be wrong, or this is just is from my perspective. Mm -hmm. I didn't really see people owning where they were from into this whole Edgewood movement. Cause I feel like I heard a lot okay. of people like saying they from Edgewood and I thought it was so dope because we would like of course we're in a city, we clowning people from the county. Right. Where do you think that 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 came from? Just that that confidence saying, yo, I'm from the county, I don't give a fuck. Man. Even like with the Creek Boys, like I, where did that confidence come from? Shout out Big Ratchet. Loyalty is love. I got him on right now. You feel me? Go check him out. That's that boy right there. You hear me? That man jumped in my bag one day, right? Mm. He was like, he said, yo. I'm tired of you saying you from Baltimore. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what you mean, bro? I'm from Baltimore. That's where I was. I, I grew up at. He was like, no, you grew up out here too. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, you right. I got my my first couple fights out there. You feel me? In Baltimore, I ain't getting no fights like that. I was chilling. You feel mm -hmm. me? I was thugging. I was doing my own thing. But when I when I got out at Arundel County, it was a different feel. It was like the city in the county, mm -hmm. and it made me respect it more because. At Baltimore, everything's so close. Mm -hmm. So you know it's going to be shit happening regardless. You get out the county, you're like, ain't, ain't nothing going down you, out we here. We think it's sweet, right? You get out that motherfucker if you want to. Come around Pine City if you want to. Mm. You spend that block, you're going to see. It look just like Baltimore. It look just like D.C. hood. You feel me? Everything look fucked up. But you're going to get what you...
put into it. How about right. that? You won't get you won't get out of it what you put yeah. in. Yeah. Do you think that like it, it just came with like us getting older? Because I guess when I was when we was I guess talking down on the counties, we were young. I was young. Yeah. We were just talking shit, right? But I guess as you get older, like you don't care. Like this is where I'm from. Like right. you can say what you want. I know about me. Like exactly. I know where I'm at with it. It takes maturity. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, does. Okay. it does. It does. It does. Okay, so like how do you think that impacted like the, the music you made or just even your decision making when it came to making music? Man, a, a whole lot for real, because I always been like I'm so Baltimore and mm-hmm. this and that. I got a hat in the house right now that say I'm I'm so Baltimore on the front of it. Right. Like Regardless, but out the way, it's different. You you live in our Pioneer City, man. My my homeboy just passed away on Thanksgiving, Damn. early morning. Sorry for your loss. You feel man. me? Long live Ruger. Long live Gotti. Free pack. You feel me? This is all my my peoples. I love them to death. And it's crazy because you would think that's only supposed to happen in the city, right? You move out here and think, all right, I guess that happens everywhere. Facts, of course. It's in it, when you say it everywhere, like even um, in the DMV, right? Mm-hmm. Like I, I moved out here, and it's like, of course they have that whole conversation of like DC and Maryland or whatever right. it could be. But I mean, honestly, shit's gonna go down regardless wherever you at. Um, I see you enjoying. You want some more? You can have some more. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I say you can get definitely. some more, bro. Hold up. Hold on, let me slide. Yeah, bro, come on, man. Enjoy that, dog. Yes, sir. But nah, man. So um, we've been doing music for how long now? I'm sorry. I, I... Wow. I'm going to just say since I was a young bull, I'm t- I, I I be wanting to bring up the ages, but you know, shit me- mesh together so much, you yeah, can't yeah, yeah. be like, all right, this the age I was when I did this. Since I was in elementary school, I've been doing music. What are some of the things you learned in the game, man? Just being, a, like, I guess an OG or? Man, all right, so looking up to one of my favorite rappers, Lil Wayne, mm. I always had to make sure my lyrics was right. Mm-hmm. My lyrics got to be on point. That's the only thing I could say portrays me. My uh, when you when you hear my name G Five Sly, mm-hmm. the Sly is an acronym that stands for So Lyrical Youngin. Oh shit! Yeah, the G Five is I'm my name is Edward Alfonso Glenn. Okay, the fifth. Shit, I'm the fifth in my generation. I just had a son. He the sixth. That's fire, bro. So yeah, so yo, let's talk up. Damn, yeah, There's so much. That, like I love these conversations because you know. We always think we're going to start off, let's talk about music, let's talk about what you dropping, let's talk about your mixtape and your right. album. And your, but it's so much more to a man than just what he's doing at the present time. Definitely. Right? And we talk about legacy, like mm-hmm. five. Yes, sir. And you got a six now. Yes, like sir. Like that legacy means something. Yes, sir. Like, what was your pops telling you to make you think, like, nah, I got to keep it moving? It wasn't even my pops to keep man. it G. My grandfather, I just lost him um, on the 29th of December. That's the third. Mm. He told me, he said, you carry your name well? I said, yeah. Have you ever thought in your life that you wanted to change your name? Mm. I said, for what? I made this. This is me. I'm the fifth. Regardless of anything, this is me. And he was like, so pass it on. It's crazy you say that, bro, because, you know, usually it's like the opposite way, right? Like, usually it's like, not saying I don't like my name, mm-hmm. but usually you, I think you would hear, you know, I want to make a name for myself. So I don't want to be called what my pops was called, especially right. in, let's say, celebrity, right? And, right. And professional athletes and things like that. It's like, man, I want to make a name for myself. Yeah. But the fact that she was like, nah, I'm going to own this name. Yeah. And I'm still going to make a name for myself because just because it's the same name don't mean it's the same person. Because regardless if you get a name, that name come with a social security number. Mm. So when you talk get, about it, when you get that social security number, that make you different. That is right you, regardless. Right. That is you. Sheesh. So with me, I didn't need the social. It's five. That's me. I'm the fifth. Mm. I'm gonna make this five pop as long as I can. Damn, that's dope. So I fuck with that. I, I want to. I want to be able to give my son something that nobody else could give him. Facts. And you I can't gonna name. respect the name so that you could be. The six, and Facts. hopefully, you have a seventh when you when you and, yeah. And I was about to say I can't I, I don't know if I can name anybody that's been the six or the fifth for that for that that take right. Yes, sir. Like, and I think that's unique and special in it, in itself that you should take pride in that. Like, the bro, definite. we got family tradition. 
You know how hard it is to get family anything when it comes to the black community? What? You get what I'm saying? So like, crazy. It's hard. So, like, we can take pride in that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's five of us strong. Nigga, six of us strong. It's about to be seven. What you mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. So, yeah. like, nah, I get it, bro. <laughs> I, I love it. Yeah. And I was going to ask you, say, it was your grandfather. So, was your pops there? Yeah, my pops always been there. Mm. Actually, my pop, my pops probably inspired probably half of my lyrics. That's what's up. He don't realize it. He just be talking shit. And my father cracked jokes a lot. So one day he talking, he like, man, these niggas pussy out they ass. I'm like, what you just say, Pops? <laughs> these niggas pussy out they ass. I said, I just want you to know I'm stealing that. He like, what you mean? I'm about to put that in the rap. You going to hear that shit. Mm. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's dropping at the end of January. I'm going to let you know that. You feel me? What was the name? What's the name of that? Yeah, that, that's going to be Catch a Flight. Catch a Flight? Yes, sir. Mr. Catch a Flight. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yo, you um about that, right? So was your Pops and your Moms together? Nah. But they just had a great co-parenting? Definitely. Really? Damn. Definitely. Can we talk about the importance of that? All right. So my mom, she was she a paralegal. Mm. So I always been on the good side of family. I never really had to struggle or go through. Pause no. before you go. Yeah. Why do, like I love, like I love that I'm getting this side, bro. Mm-hmm. Because so many people want to fake and like. Act like something that they not, and that's it's it's not it's okay to have good parents. Like what Real the talk. fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> Real Bro, talk. Like I don't, I'm I'm confused. So like when I hear, I think it's special. Every mm-hmm. time I meet somebody like yourself and say, "Yo, my mom's did good. Yeah. My family did. Yeah, I had birth, both parents in my life. Like mm-hmm. why do people want to act like they came from the struggle so bad? And it's like it's nothing I wrong. Don't, I don't know. Truthfully, I don't know because all right, your mother did that. So be it. I I I. I Hey, I'm sorry. Well, if that. it made you <laughs> what you are today, and you a good person, right? That's cool. You feel me? If your vibe fucked up, get away from me. Mm. But my mom's, she ain't play that. Mm. It was, it was either she gonna grind and make sure her kids see it, so that they could be better, and be able to do more than just the average, right? Because I, I looked at my mom for so long as my leader. As the person that stood, you feel me, out in front, that I never really pictured my dad being right there. Mm. Even though he was always there. Facts. When my dad finally, like, came around on some, I want to make it known, nigga, you going to be good. You going to be great because I'm here. Mm. Cool. My dad was always in between jobs. But now... My dad doing good than he the, better than he ever did, mm. and I never gave up on my father. Right. These other people go out here and they talk bad on their moms on songs. They talk bad on their dad on songs. Don't nobody want to hear you eating from no bowl with no cereal, just milk. You feel me? But that that's what people give you. They want to give you the struggle bars that make you feel where they coming from. And whole time, half, half the motherfuckers ain't never been through that. Facts. And, and you know what's crazy, though, bro? It shows that there's an audience for everything. And we're going to get back into the music, because I know your management over there, like, all right, music, music. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. but I, that's what management's supposed to do. But yeah. um, we're going to get back into it. But I say that to say, like, it's an audience for everybody, right? Mm-hmm. Even if you're not making the, the trap, it's the trap music, right? Even yeah. if you're not making... I don't know, the hardest of the hard music and Kill Kill Bang Bang is right. an a audience for everybody. So just like it's an audience for the struggle, mm-hmm. it's an audience for people that didn't have to struggle too. Right. So if you own yourself and who you are as a person, as an artist, you will find that audience, right? Real talk. How did you think you found your audience and, and the people that you got that listen to you? Shout out to my man, Eddie Ortiz. Mm. He, uh, he actually produced a couple of my songs. Mm. My man... Told me one day we were sitting we were sitting in the basement. I was making a song. And he was like, "What type of feeling are you putting into this song?" Mm. I'm like, "What you mean?" He was like, "Exactly what I just said. Where's the feeling at?" And I couldn't I couldn't give it to him. I couldn't tell him where it was coming from. It was just me writing some shit and being like, "Oh, I'm I'm gonna go to the studio and do this." And truthfully, he brought out a lot in me because. I went back and I was like, yo, I, I really need to like sit and put my heart into this instead of just using my brain. Mm. Anybody who use their brain. You put your heart into something, it really mean it. One of my favorite songs that I dropped is called Don't Gotta Worry. And it was mostly towards my daughter, but it was about my life. Mm. And expressing myself on that song made me feel so much better. 
I didn't have to go go out and rob somebody because I was feeling some type of way or beat somebody up. Cause all I had to do was go in the studio and drop a verse. Yo, it's crazy because like even with that, like you, a lot of this you have to find yourself, right? Mm-hmm. And and know who you are as a person, as an artist. Yes, sir. And speaking of that, I was just curious because you said you started off in the church, mm-hmm. but eventually you got to a point where you probably couldn't hit those notes that you wanted for that type of sound definitely how did you find your sound for this type of genre of music or hip-hop or what do they call it trap like they i forgot it's a name that they call it now uh trap so trap like, soul. like yeah. how, how did you find your sound for that i basically gave up on music mm. for a whole three years mm. i was like rapping and everywhere i went you couldn't you could not find me not freestyling all my boys be like yo Go ahead, give me a hot 16 as soon as they see me. Spit something. You feel me? I'm like, all right, I got you. But where's the money? Mm. Where's the people that's jumping out there, making sure that I, I'm going to be good after I spit this freestyle? Nobody. So I realized the only way I could put my heart into it is making sure that I understood what I was doing before I did it. Damn, that's fire. That's real. So everything that I do now, it has to be written before I do it. Yo, come on. That's, bro, I'm so glad you brought that up. Bro, Every people act like... And I got they, that... Oh, one second. Go I, ahead. Got, I got that from my brother, DeMarco Thompson. Shout out to him, too. He has a whole goal board in his room. His goals, what he's doing this day, that day, the next day, next month, three months from now, six months from now, five years from now. I'm like, damn, how you like... Put that together. Mm. And he just like sitting here thinking, thinking what I want to do with myself. I have kids. My brother ain't got no kids. Mm. How he got goals and I don't got goals. So, all right, let me go home. Let me study myself. You can study everybody out here in this world that you want to study. Until you study yourself, your vibe is never going to be right. That's a fact. I was going to ask you like, yo, and I feel like in a society of, People are so pressed to say they freestyle. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I hear all these artists and they're like, yeah, man, I just go and egg all the top. And I'm thinking like, well, maybe that's why you should sound like that. If exactly. you take your time. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly why I sound like that. Right. When I write my, my lyrics, half the time, I'm on a shitter. You feel me? Mm. <laughs> that, that's what, that, that is where the best so lyrics come it'll take you like from. an hour or two hours to take a shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm in that motherfucker like, uh-huh. My girl always get mad at me. Fact. Why the fuck? Why, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? I was in there. I swear to God, the other day I was in there and like, I was just, just kind of chilling. You, you can just get my Instagram. Me time. Just. <laughs> my girl was not going to do it. Like, you been in there for two hours. Like, you want you texting somebody? Like, right. no. Nigga, like, <laughs> I'm really just enjoying some me time. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. What, what I got to rush this for? You but, feel me? So question, bro. Do you uh do you still freestyle? Uh, exactly. Yes, I do. So, so you, you like, you give like, that like, I don't want to compare you to nobody, but like, I'm gonna do it just for the sake of conversation. Like Mo three, cause he had that like. That's, that's my man. God rest his soul. I love that boy right there. You heard me? Like Mo three, like, but I can't tell you that I I, I give that. What's type the sound? Of Let me hear something. If you had to freestyle right now, not to put you on the spot, but I'm gonna put you on the spot. How would it sound? Let me hear it now. Freestyle for real. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Let me hear it. Like, see, niggas ain't never ready until you put a nigga on the spot. No, 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 no. I would give you something. You feel me? But this interview ain't about a freestyle. No, nah, I'm asking the freestyle. Was the interview in? I'm asking. Let me see. You sure? I'm, I'm, yeah. That's I'm, what you want. Bro, I charge for freestyles. Do you I'm about to say you want to keep asking me? Because I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. I, this is my first time ever doing this. I'm curious. This for my people who don't know me. Yeah. I just want to tell my story. Yeah, ever since I was a little shorty, yeah, I had people trying to hold me, damn, but now they see me getting bread, though, yeah, please don't come around, I don't do phony, no, ain't no more walking with my head down, yeah, ain't no more pain, just love and glory, yeah, 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 yeah. 
I let them think that I was weak. Those was the times I barely speak. Ain't had no Jordans on my feet, just A1s in my Levi jeans. Stepped my swag up in the summer, got me a job, seen brand new numbers. Started chasing what I wanted, a bigger bag and peaceful slumber. Put that time up in the stew. Cause I ain't had shit else to do Heard that pain in every verse Who higher than me spit that truth Me and my old bro we both got locked Before I moved he said don't do it My little homie turned his back It hurt my heart I put him through it Closest things to me and mine Was my family and my music First time I seen Raya smile I had just turned on my music yeah. That one moment had me zooted This ain't no maybe I'm gonna do it yeah. People had they shot and blew it But I'd be damned if I'm gonna do it right. Too much juice to run it dry Look too damn good to be so shy but my aggression to the side said catch a flight because i'm fly now they know me as g5 or edward glenn until i die and my daddy was the fourth so what that make your boy the five you heard me. yeah Mouch i like it. that yeah Mouch bro i i <laughs> yes sir I, I honestly fuck with it that's why i was curious because i'm like i heard the song mm -hmm. i liked it like honestly yeah and i'm like i wonder how would this sound on the i was worried like damn i fuck with it I fuck with it. I'm definitely gonna do another, uh, a whole another session with you. Let's get it. Cause I, I want this freestyle. With hey, you. I listen. I appreciate the support for every. Yes, again, sir. I told Phil, niggas always saying, "Yo, Jay, thank you for supporting me, nigga." Do they you don't understand? You got support, support back. me. Like, yeah. thank you for supporting me. Yeah. <laughs> like, Re regardless, support goes in both ways. Me, Cause if I support you, I'm gonna get lit. Facts. A let me ask you as an artist, right? Mm -hmm. Um. The importance of investing in yourself. I feel like a lot of artists feel they're entitled and they don't think they should pay for things. Can you talk to that being an artist? And, and, and when when do you, when is it times where it's like, man, no, nah, I'm not paying for that. It ain't worth it. Mm -hmm. And when do you, do you ever look at it like, I shouldn't be paying? All right. I've never looked at it as I shouldn't be paying. Okay. So when isn't it worth it and when is it worth it? So what's worth it? If you know this beat that you just found is fire. Mm. Buy that fucking beat. Mm. Don't don't get the MP3 because it's free. Freestyle on the MP3, and you think, all right, even even if you wrote or wrote something on the MP3, all right, I'm gonna drop this MP3. Everybody gonna listen to it. No, everybody's not gonna listen to it. I was just telling uh, your boy that you had in here before. You feel me, your boy Phil? I like to get my track outs. This is what makes it worth it. Mm. See, when you buy the beat and you get the track outs with it, them track outs could turn the bass up. It could turn everything in the song up that you want turned up. So make the quality better. It makes everything better. Okay. Not just the quality. You, you, the whole experience. You can have regular speakers in your car. You get the track outs, it's going to sound like you got two 15s in your shit. Damn. So it's definitely important to invest in yourself. Definitely. I feel like a lot of art, do you, where do you think artists go wrong when it comes to the investment or just being entitled? Because I feel like a lot of artists just feel like they don't supposed to be paying for these things. Because everybody rely on a label for so much mm. or whoever's backing them for so much. I told my manager off the jump, do this music shit. I want you to be my manager. He said, no, I can't. I ain't go to school for this shit. I didn't do this. No, I don't give a fuck how you feel about it. You're going to learn it. You learn the manager side, I'm gonna learn the artist side. That way you could teach me some shit and I could teach you some shit. Damn. I was gonna ask, like, you know, it seems like a lot of people they they, they say, yeah, I could do it on my own. Mm -hmm. Why is it why was it so important for you to say I need a manager and I need it to be you? Because I'm not a trapper. Mm. I'm not one of them people out here selling drugs to get my name up. I'm I'm that's not but that's not me. I watch my grandmother die off drugs. You can have that. You can have all of that. I drink a little bit. That's cool. I mean, we're going to drink my heat. Shout out to my guy. <laughs> yes, sir. I drink a little bit. That's cool. But outside of that drinking life, I work every day. Shout out to Cheesecake Factory. Mm -hmm. I work every day to make sure that I have something to put behind my music. Mm. See, a lot, of these, a lot of these artists, they think music is the only way. So when they start doing music, they quit their job. That way, all they could do is try to focus on music, but that's what gets you in trouble because uh, idle mind is the devil's workshop. Let's go. So you you, you talked about um, Cheesecake Factory, where you work at, you're a chef, right? Yes, sir. And I feel like a lot of artists, they are scared to talk about their workplace because they, they think that people are going to look at them differently. I don't know why. Why? 
where did you get the confidence from? Like, yo, this is where I work, and I don't give a fuck, and I do music. I love what I do. Mm. Now, my first love, I would never tell nobody else, but because I'm on this show, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you now. My first love has always been cooking. That was inspired okay. by my grandfather. So it's easier for you to say where you work, because, I mean, that's... That's kind. That was. That's what you love to do. Yes, sir. It ain't like it's some ranky thing shit. That's what you love to do. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. The music kind of came along because my whole family was doing music. Mm. My mom could sing her ass off. Fuck Mariah Carey. She ain't fucking with my mother. You heard. Mm. But at the end of the day, my mother and everybody else that seen that I wanted to do music made sure that that's what I was going to do. Okay. So they put me in certain positions to add up to the amount of the person that I am today. Okay. That makes sense. Yo, it was a great conversation, bro. I like I, I really enjoyed this conversation. Definitely. Um, I, I definitely wish you the best of luck. Um we definitely can lock in mm -hmm. on the freestyle. I'm gonna sign that on camera too. Oh yeah, we doing that. Um we doing that. Appreciate you and your manager, dog. Uh Thank you. what you got coming up that you're working on? I'm actually about to drop an album. Okay. Catch a flight. It's gonna be fifteen songs. I would give y'all 20, but y'all ain't ready for that yet. <laughs> I'm going to drop a good 15, and I'm a, I, I just want people to understand where I'm from and who I am. Do you think the people are ready for 15? Because 15? that's still kind of lengthy. I've dropped certain, like, I want to say, like, I, I, I drop a little something here, a little something there, and get a lot, a nice little amount of views off of it. Okay. But I'm not getting the comments the people that hit you in your DMs like, yo, I love this because I can I can listen to your album or your your mixtape or your EP all the way through. Okay. You you can't get that from a lot of people. Like, well, Wayne, that's my favorite artist, but I can only listen to like six songs off his shit. This is true. You feel me? I want people to be able to pull up my shit, 15 songs. Mm. I don't know. It might take me a little while to listen to it. That's the best part. Mm. Cuz at least you listen to the whole thing. Right. So this is something that you just that you wanted to do like personally, like yes, a personal goal or. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Yo, if you could just tell people My uh, daughter told me to drop this. Really? My daughter told me to drop this. Shout out to the young princess, man. Yes, man. Kariah Glenn. Yes, yes, yes. Yo, uh if you could look into the cameras let everybody know where to follow you at and everything. G5 Catch a Flight on Instagram, you feel me? Everything together. G5 Catch a flight. You're already and I'm on every platform. Whatever you want to find me on, go ahead, go on there. Just look me up. G5 Space S L Y. Oh yeah, the gangster, gangster video just. Well, I'm about to say we yeah like gangster we, we video on that just dropped early. last month. That's probably month. why I forgot because we just touched yeah. on that early. Gangster video just dropped last month. You feel me? I took a little while to drop this video because I was promoing like a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. But everybody loved the video. So go ahead, check out that G5 slide, Gangsta on YouTube. It's everywhere, but on YouTube is the motherfucking visual. Go check out the visual. If you don't necessarily fuck with the visual, let me know. Let me know. I like critique. Hey man, I appreciate it, yo. G5 slide, Gangsta is out right now. Is that is it's dope. Um, I'm not gonna like I don't have to dick ride another nigga. I don't gotta say this shit. It's dope, man. Check it out. Uh, Mr. J. Hill, Conversation Series. Yo, again, yeah. I appreciate you, man.